Ya, pwede rin yan. Kasi, yan, sabi mo sa kanya. Hi, this is Ariel, Ariel Live TV, and today, finally, uh, we get to talk and um, have a chit chat with our one artist on May 21 at Alexix Park. It's Let's Have a Good Time, hashtag The Hangout Concert in Las Vegas, and she just arrived from the Philippines, and she is one of the diva. Of course, Mystica, the rock diva of the Philippines, today here live at Aria Live TV at 1601 South Rainbow. Welcome to the show, Mystica. A lot of people are wondering who is Mystica. <laughs> hey, is that the girl who is split? <laughs> Welcome well, to the because, show. Yeah, because I'm more well known in the Philippines as uh, the split queen and the rock diva of the Philippines. So, of course, every time that I get to uh, perform and then Everybody would just expect me to do the splits. I know, huh? Everybody's <laughs> still asking me. He said, is she going to do the split? Of course. Of course. Oh, I'm of still course. young to do it. I can <laughs> always do it. Even when I get to uh, to this critical age already, I'm still going to be split. Ah, awesome. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Uh, where are you from in the Philippines? I was born actually uh, at the north. Uh, to Gigaraw area, mm -hmm. pero I was born at Alakapan, and then uh, Al my Alakapan Al Cagayan, Al Cagayan Valley, yeah, Cagayan region Bali, too, okay. yeah, so uh, very north talaga. Pinaka north is Apari, right? Apari. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So Apari is very close to Alakapan where I was, you know, mm. I was born. So, when so. did you learn that you can sing and you can do all those things? You know, I mean, when I was young, I can do it, but I think now I, I have to go slowly like a baby step. <laughs> well, I grew up with my mom as a singer and of course since my father used to be a producer director of some uh, stage shows ganun, yung mga sarsuela. Oh, okay. We call it sarsuela in the Philippines, yung yes, mga stage show, mga drama. Yeah, oh, I was part okay. Of that before in my hometown. Correct. Yeah. Yo, so I was actually uh uh I mean taught by uh my mom to sing mm -hmm. and of course my um uh, my father as well, since they were very much in uh, the showbiz, you know, in our own town. So I grew up really as an entertainer and a wow. singer. So you started when how old? I guess when I was seven years old. Wow. You know, going out did there you, in did stage you shows to already. Did you join the contests like that? Mostly started in concerts and, of course, um, in school as well and some provincial competitions whatever or TV competitions like that so as soon as I got to Manila mm -hmm. and then I started at uh, yung tawag ng Rizal Park uh -huh. and then I became the grand winner wow. and then of course the director and producer of that show became my manager and that's when he started me to take to some uh, you know some other uh, parts of the Philippines mm -hmm. and then Palau mm -hmm. that's where I started Wow and when did you uh, get all this name, the rock diva of the <laughs> Philippines, the split queen, and then suddenly you are gone completely? Tell no, it me was what my happened. choice actually what, to go. Tell me what happened because oh. you were on the tabloid all over, news yes. magazine, every magazine back home, yeah. internet, sensation, you know, all those things that everybody are like just trying to throw rocks at you tell me what's, what's <laughs> happened what happened exactly it was my choice i thought that i can just get into show business for five years and then after five years and then i'll be gone mm. and that was the reason why i stopped all of a sudden mm. so it wasn't like uh they have really thrown me out or whatever it was my choice because mm. five years was okay for me mm. and after that i uh i went to the province i've invested some money right there some businesses and of course there were like uh, some conflicts with a certain politician right there mm -hmm. and then they have threatened to kill us so we wow. didn't have any choice but to come back to show business so that's when we started coming mm -hmm. back again to show business and then of course uh, as soon as I get I, I got started to uh, get involved with some uh, political issues and stuff like that it's just like you you know you have your own 
uh, you have your own uh, mind, mind, and mm -hmm. you have your own opinions in terms Correct. of your own political uh, views. Views. So that's when everybody started to just judge you, judge me, and then uh, everybody just. Uh, Threw me some uh, whatever words. Well, they, they said to give if me. you can throw a rock at me and you can tell me that you are, uh, you know, you don't do a sin, then do it, right? Exactly. So probably all those people try to throw a rock on you. They they don't never had. They a probably sin. never had sin. Yeah. But I don't even consider myself as a sin because once you have your own opinion to a certain situation, a certain certain issue, mm -hmm. I mean that's your own right, just like you, right? Correct. You have your own political views. Correct. correct. Your own so, rights. Uh, so everybody out there that doesn't know Mystica, of course, the rock diva of the Philippines, and a split queen, this is her time <laughs> not to say that, hey, you know, if you can throw a rock to her and saying that you did never done a sin, she is welcoming you guys to throw a rock to throw, on her. But well, explain for sure, everyone, to yes. for sure, everyone have seen you know in this uh, in this life. So nobody is perfect, right? I heard also that. Well, I I know uh, I researched you first, and uh, you married a young man on that time. Uh, no, it wasn't even a real marriage actually because by the time that I was making, like a, a, yeah, because you know, by Britney the time Spear married 72 hours and something just divorced, like that. something so like that. So it wasn't really serious and then I just realized that it wasn't really working on. So why do you have to stick yourself to a situation where you are uh, being trapped there and then you cannot just move on? Right. So, well, entertainment is like that, you know, I mean, like other, any, anybody, that, as I said, you cannot throw a rock to anybody because we're not perfect. As you said, you know, it didn't work, you know, it didn't move on, right? Exactly. So, Just tell me exactly on. why these people are attacking you, in what way, can you, I can you give me a little bit of briefings with that? Because for all the celebrities in the Philippines, I am the most vocal, and then they just can't take that. They feel that once you're in the uh, in the show business, and then you have no right to uh, exercise your opinion, exercise your rights. They think that they are the only ones who can only give out their, you know, their whatever they could share. And if celebrity would start getting out there and express what she wants to express, and then Correct. they seem like you don't have any right. They would you're take just right. exercising your rights, yeah. but. You got to remember, probably in the Philippines, some of them, they don't want to be vocal and you want to be like that. They should just accept it that. Yeah, and it's my own right too because I'm also uh, one of those citizens who just wanted to have a good life, you know, in terms of to have somebody who would lead there and of course would be somebody that I thought it would be perfect. Correct, correct. Uh, like some of my friends, they ask me, why her? <laughs> <laughs> so they asked me, why, me? Why, why, why her? Why me? Why, why her? You know, I mean, well, why her? As you hear it, she said she is just vocal like everybody else that she wants to express her feelings and not to hurt someone. It's just she's telling the truth. Exactly. Well, they're taking it so personal. For me, I don't care. I don't care what, what they say because I thought it was my right, right? But when it comes to my showbiz life and showbiz career, I mean, I've always done my best in order to entertain, you know? Right. Yeah. I have that, never... That's your life, you know, from at the age of seven and, you know, you only stop and probably relax like everybody else. They think that the showbiz is gone on their life and then suddenly they all come back. Yeah, because I thought I was still very young in order to stop it. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, right now that I'm here in the United States, and of course, it's going to be a different opportunity, right? Correct, correct. And of course, with your help as well, as yes. my producer, director, and uh, I'm sure that, you know, promoter my manager. promoter manager, so I'm sure that my career is going to uh, go ahead, and who knows, right? Yeah, well, there you go. Uh, some of my BFF are supposed to bring also all sung here. He asked me, he said, hey, you, Misika has a lot of trouble. And <laughs> maybe because uh, all sung is our dear friend. He is one of the, uh, you know, a rock also um, 
a gay rocker oh. and he's the one who did the X Factor Philippines. Mm. So he asked me uh, to ask you what exactly happened, you know, that why, you know, no. all those tabloid, you know, being famous out there oh, yeah, in the wrong way. Sometimes being famous really, it's a, uh, you know, it's just like politics, you know. It's either you please them or not. You know, you cannot just please everybody, but, mm -hmm. you know, I'm sure that I'm doing my best in order to mm -hmm. entertain. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm here for. Oh, of course, good. politics Are you, are you excited out. with this event coming out? Oh, my God, I'm so excited. Since you so already explain yourself. Come on. Yes, okay. Why don't you invite everybody? How about... Yeah, you can read let's, it. Let's, let's focus on our show right here. The Hangouts probably presents Let's Have a Good Time, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s live concert. And of course, I'm one of them. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> and that's going to be on May 21st. You're going to have your right? own concert, actually. And we're trying to bring it, uh, Lillian Bergen. BG oh, House. hi, Lillian. Uh, she's going to be bringing you there in Utah. Oh, that's great. Yes. Yeah, so, oh anyway, this is going to be on May 21. And we have also here Jonalyn. Maybe you'll see I can get Jonalyn out there and bring her in. Oh, that's here. perfect. So, because that's Jonalyn right there. Oh, that's her. Okay. Yeah, she's here. So, that's there great. you go, guys. Uh, Mystica, what kind of uh, original song that you have? Because, you know, every time I bring guests <laughs> and my, uh, you know, I mean, guests in my shows, I let them sing. Maybe you can give them a little bit about your song well because which one, do you have any original song oh yes i have lots of uh original songs which one already that song so that is popular simple lang ang gusto ko sa lalaki ay di masyadong malaki ang katawan you see because uh it sounds like it is green right but yes. they didn't realize that after after its uh, lyrics, and then they realize, oh, oh, okay, so she's talking about yung malaki is about the katawan. Yeah. And then, of course, <laughs> I know that's yung so green minded, funny, right? for those green minded people, they would think that, oh, what is malaki? <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Are you, gonna, are you gonna sing that song on a concert? Uh, not for this one now because. Uh, Which one are you planning to sing with them? Well, how many songs do I have to sing? It's up to uh, you. Okay, so you it's are, up to you me. Are the, you're, you're the character. Well, first, yeah. first um, because one of my favorites is actually uh, bon Bonnie Tyler, right? Uh, Total Eclipse of the Heart. And I know, I like that song. I like uh, What's Up as well for Non Blondes. Mm -hmm. I like also, I feel good. Because it's mga 60s. Yeah, mga I know, 70s, I know. We should so, sing that past, yes. you know, past song maybe some of those as well mm -hmm. uh, i'm not really sure yet later on they're gonna find out anyway yeah let's, let's, let's go call <laughs> uh let's go call jonalyn see okay. uh, if we can bring her here jonalyn let's see let's get yeah. call jonalyn uh yeah talk about that so basically you have uh, your all original song yeah i've got my own original so maybe i'm going to sing one of my original songs on my own show later on Mm -hmm. uh oh, but at least say go at the door and come to the show so you can be part of the shows for a few minutes. Okay, go at the door. Okay, bye. Okay, so that's Jonah, that's a bit of no, oh, no, 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 it was one uh, of the, oh, okay. this one. Okay, I love I, I love I love her uh, rendition that uh, the uh, how do you call that. Uh, whisk, uh, Tennessee whiskey. I like that song. Oh, really? oh. So, ilan ang kanta mo na naging popular? I know I like that song you just sing. Yeah, I've, actually, I have four albums already. Mm -hmm. So, but in Philippines, it was uh, yung ano yung, yung pusong salawahan. Can you can you give me a singer? Pusong salawahan. Kailupit ng pagibig mo, tamdamin mo parang bato ay mga ganon. And of course, galing, galing. labi sa labi, tayo'y nagkaisa. Yun. So, very popular when Which they go to... Which one is the popular uh, one? I the most the popular, popular is the yung, ano, yung ang gusto ko sa lalaki. Ganun. Can you sing that? Can you give Yun me nga. more summary? Ah, that? Simple lang akong babae. Hanap ko simple lalaki. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and of course, yung ano yung uh, yung total eclipse. I also did a uh, Tagalog version. Of oh, can you can you well. sing that Tagalog version? Turn around, bago na pansin ng luha sa king mata. <laughs> Nakalimutan ko na pating lyrics <laughs> because most of the time I I sing the uh, 
the English version. Kasi, G give me the intro uh -oh. of the Total Eclipse in English. Come on. Ah. Total Eclipse, I really like that song. Total Eclipse of the Heart, and I need you more tonight, and I need you more than ever. We should go to a karaoke sometimes, and then you sing okay, for Let's me. go sing karaoke tonight. We'll go find it. Well, let's talk about this. The five tainting men, uh, okay. they're actually popular on the 60s and the 70s. Oh. And then the melodic, they're also the same popular. And then the doo -woppers. And Jimmy, all good. Thank you so much for making the video today. I think that's cool. Uh, he is also famous in uh, his hometown. He has his own uh, also, record you, label. you know them personally? Yes, Are yes. So uh, Jimmy, all oh, good. Okay. Can't wait to see you. I, get, I uh, had a chat with Myron. And Eddie Cloris, he is also uh, popular here. And he's also an inventor, three times uh, drumming. And he has a scholarship. And the doo -woppers, and of course, uh, Taki want to be able to make it, I believe, because he's going to the Philippines to own the business oh, back Taki, home. Is that Filipino or? No, Japanese. Japanese Monique yeah. cannot be able to make it also. So this I'm going to put, no, I'm, she's uh, black oh, and Filipina. Okay. Okay. So, and Jonalyn, of course, so in you, hashtag the hangouts. Why hashtag the hangouts? Why not? Let's have a good yeah, time, right? Let's have a good right. time. And of course, Edna White, Fresh Friends, is always there for me, uh, always a sponsor. She's also s single like me. Well, yeah, not much. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, uh, Chop Chop, uh, <laughs> he is one of my co-hosts. Uh, Chop Chop is a seven times boxing championship. There she is. Come on, go to the back so you can walk the front. Come on. Uh, is that her? Yeah, that uh, was okay. uh, Jonalyn. Jonalyn. Uh, okay. She is also the best singer like you, and of course, uh, and we have some friends coming there also. Oh. We have a lot of family and friends will be there. So once again, May 21, 2022 at uh, Alexis Lex Park. Go ahead. Did Alexis it? Park Hot Resort Hotel at 375 East Harmon Avenue, okay? Of course, that's in Las Vegas, Nevada, okay? So please come and join us. Because that's going to be a great night for everybody because uh, not only going to be me, but here. we have other uh, black artists or some other artists here as well. And of yes. course, Miss Jonalyn. Let, let's oh. talk to Jonalyn. Jonalyn, uh, I, the first time I met Jonalyn is here in the office at oh. 1601. And she told me, oh, great. I said, she sang. And I said, I was so surprised. And I, sa I said, okay. Why don't you be part of the shows? I, I said, I want to manage you. I want to hear you. I want to be able to hear how, you know, how oh, her yeah. voice is. I said, I everybody wondering, he said, yeah, right. You know, they think I'm joking. She think, right, huh? Do you think I'm joking on that time? No. I, I, just, <laughs> I just said, okay, let's try. <laughs> but she has her own career as well, yeah. the real yes. one. Okay, she is good. the CEO for uh, CEO. CEO here at the uh, agencies. Oh, great. She managed some uh, agencies. Uh, that's good. Uh, some is uh, Jay and some is uh, Serena. Oh, that's great. We have the hospice, home health, and mobile prime clinic. mobile clinics. That's tele what you were talking telehealth. About yes, about yes. So, are you excited with this uh, concert that you have? Oh, you, you're also going to be singing with uh, David Pomerantz this coming May 5th? Oh, is, is he here in town? Yeah, well, he is at the California. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. he's going to be in Cali she's going to be in California. Oh, because last time he was in Philippines, I'm not sure what year was that. But he's always been in Philippines because he's so, very, very yeah. popular there. Well, I see she's yeah. popular though, too. <laughs> Like born for you, yeah. ah, that's one of his. Yes. Born for you. Can I you sing that? Can you. you sing that, please? Born sing it. You, you, you uh, and her. Was, uh, how, Come on. how does that go in, again? Too many billion people. people. The planet. <laughs> oh my God. There you go, David Pomeranz, May now five. I was born for you. Oh my God. Yeah, hope to see you, David. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be May 5. I, May I think uh, May 4. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, May 4. That's going to be in Los Angeles, California. And uh, yeah. John Allen is one of the singers uh, singing with uh, David Lawrence. I, yeah. I, will, I will find out. Yeah, why not? Take me.
okay, that's there. a good one. Yeah, okay. I can take it there. Uh, and also, don't forget. Uh, so, how many people that you already invite? Did you invite the whole community? The already? whole community, <laughs> whole Filipino community. Yes. And we have a line producer here also, and she is herself a musician. Oh, who is she? Maria Tess. Uh, Maria Tess lost her voice when she has this, uh, she find out that she has cancer on oh, her throat. Oh, no. But she's well now, but the thing is she lost her voice. She's not oh, back yet. Oh she's still God. recovering. So, yeah, she is one of the line producer. And Deanne Gordon is also one of the line producer. Uh, she actually produce some of these artists here. Okay. Yeah. Are these artists from here or from other? They're all over uh, Los Angeles. Oh, They're okay. from California, all over. Different states. Different states. Okay. So, so what are you going to be singing? Are you been uh, practicing with Neil, Neil Solis? Yeah, I was just going to ask her that your, your, you know, uh, what's her uh, favorite, who's her favorite artist or whatever. So Who are you going to be? Uh, no, because the band wants me to sing the Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, that's great. Mm. Which one? I don't know if you want me to Tennessee Whiskey, my that's favorite. I, yeah. I, like, I like, yeah, I like her Tennessee rendition. Waltz? No, Tennessee, Tennessee Whiskey. whiskey. Oh, okay. Do you know that song? No, how is that? Go ahead. Where can you find that? So, do you, know, you don't know that song, right? Mm, I, I like your really song sure, that yeah. uh, Malaki. So Malaki. <laughs> yeah, just come on, so join close. us here. La, la, come on, come on, join us I, here. Stand here. Sometimes, she sometimes I uh, I use different words. I mahaba matigas at malaki. Ang sagi. Yeah, because sometimes <laughs> so, like, they so, want it really naughty, you know. Yeah, like yeah. Like, hey guys, uh, what's out? The reason she is the rock diva in the Philippines because she is a queen of the split. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> asking me, it, hey, is that real Mystica? I said yes. Can, I, is she going to be doing the split? I said of yes. Course. Of course. And it was actually Boy Abunda who uh -huh. tagged me as the split queen. Yeah. Really? That's her yeah. So. yeah, that's yeah. my yeah. Yeah. That's why thanks to uh, Boy Abunda. And of course, the split because every time that I would go out there, especially like mall shows, and then uh -huh. I would do my splits because I just wanted to entertain the kids. And then right after that, said, oh, split, split, split. So it yeah, became trending. Yeah. Trending, yeah. became trending. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm excited, I think. Oh, by the way, I'm bringing her to Utah, so you're coming also. Where is that? Uh, we're preparing it, I believe, June, because uh, uh, Lillian wants it at least two months that we can sell the ticket, two months. So she's looking for a location now. Okay. So okay. once again, Mystica, the rock diva of the Philippines, is also a uh, queen of the split. Will and be then Jonaline. Oh. And of course, Jonaline. And your friend Idir. Uh, yeah, Flor Eder also. Flo Flo I mean, she's Eder, right now yeah. in California. Well, tell me about her. Well, she is really a great artist. I mean, when it comes to a guitar playing, oh my God, she's really, really oh, the wow. queen. That's why we call them. We call her the uh, the rock guitar diva. And then she has won at uh, one of those competitions in um, Channel Two as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, she, she can really rock. Okay. And then once we work together, oh. <laughs> it's trending. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Floor, you'll be part of a concert in Utah. I can't so, uh, Jonalyn, you, and uh, Mystica. So, hopefully, we're perfect. trying to find a perfect date, uh, but it's going to be June. So, we have April, May, June, July, probably towards the end, so that uh, Lillian can have two months to sell the ticket and invite you guys. So, that's going to be only uh, probably. Or expecting 400 to 500, you know, capacity, hopefully. Oh, oh. Yeah. You know what I mean? Great. Yeah. So I'm excited for you. So congratulations that you're going to be singing with David Pomerantz. And, uh, of course, and you, wow. you're going to be singing with Mystica. Yes. I mean, a lot of people are still wondering why Mystica. They keep asking me that. Well, yeah. I'm a why man. Me? <laughs> you know, why her? I'm actually her uh, manager and uh, 
promoter, producer. So watch out uh, if you want to invite her to any event that you want. Please let me know. Send me a message. And also May 13, 14, 15, we have a Las Vegas Filipino American Festival. We're going to be there also, uh, oh, be part really? of that event. Okay. So, so we're I'm trying to you put guys. you there. You're, oh, uh, once again, hey, we have a famous rock diva here. And join her and learn her song. So uh -huh. I, I love her song because one day, the reason we come up with this, right, uh, Vilma. Hi, Vilma. I know you guys are watching. And Sister Raka, Christine, they're watching right now, uh, Vilma Afante. And we are, you know, having a party. I think it's her birthday. And suddenly we all come up with this, uh, you know, YouTube channel uh, karaoke. And we all saw that naughty song, including your song. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah Malaki, yeah. Oh, we all laugh. So, naughty, yes. Hey, I said, hmm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to text her, you know. So she, she responded to me. Yeah. And I'm so happy. I think it's meant for It for was this meant to for happen. it because by the time I was already ready to come here. Yeah. I've been here actually before. I left uh, year 2008, so I already live here in Las Vegas. I already had mm -hmm. my own band, Mystica and Her Elusive Dreams. Oh, wow. And then because I wanted to go back and yeah. be an, a, a an Mystica artist. again, yeah. so that was mm -hmm. the reason why I really had to go back there. Mm -hmm. But I'm so glad that I came She's back actually here. a Filipino-Canadian yeah. citizen. Yep. But yeah. I was already a resident of states before, you know. I and then of course because I didn't come back right away, so I have lost the uh, opportunity to mm. exactly, you know, wow. expired. <laughs> I'm already an expired resident, so yeah, it's I can true. reapply yeah. again. Of yeah, course. that that's good. That's good. I think uh, yeah. if we can, if we can sourcing out the USA, so we can start. Uh, in fact, let me see if us, uh, I can put. But when are you going back to Reno? I'm not sure really. I heard you're going to stay for five days, right? I'm not really sure yet because... Okay, let's talk about that. Let's talk behind, about behind it. The Be behind the scene. Behind the scene because uh, there are some uh, uh, other things, issues that I have to consider at this <laughs> point. By the way, the shows is going to be live pay-per-view so you can watch it. Uh, Philippines go to livestreamers.com you can prepay now okay so you can watch her live and of course all the 60s 70s and 80s and 90s you guys are the 90s and 80s you consider yourself I'm 90s what? 90s okay <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah so i mean nail solar 90s yeah, that's <laughs> I think <laughs> we're not 70s. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you're we're 90s. <laughs> you're not, I, I used to wanting to have your uh, new songs again. If we can compose, I want to compose a song. Please. I like that. What is our title? Pusing Ligao. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like that title. Okay, that's Pusing good. Ligao. Pusing Ligao. Well, yeah, you should, you I want to sing that with you guys. Pusong, the reason is Pusong Ligao. She is Pusong Ligao. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm the Pusong Ligao too. Ako naliligao. No, naliligao ka Okay, okay. Pusong Ligao, naliligao. Ako naliligao. Okay. There's no puso. Naliligao lang. Naliligao? Pwede rin. Teka, naliligao. Pwede rin. Ako'y naliligao. Ay! Ikaw yung naligao. <laughs> Ikaw yung naligao. Hey, okay, let's, naligao. Let's, let's invite them. Uh, one more time to our concert on May 21. Go ahead. <coughs> okay, guys, please don't forget. Okay, this is Mystica right now. I'm in Vegas, so I'm going to rock your world again, all right, with the help of Miss Ariel being my manager, promoter, and producer. And of course, I'm going to be having uh, a show along with uh, the rest right here. And this is Jonalyn as well, okay? So that's going to be on uh, May 21 at Alexis. Park Resort Hotel. Awesome, you too, sis. Go for it. Sure you do. <laughs> See, she, she, she's a, I, I like her so much. She's kind of a shy type, but anyway, she's the no, best that's what uh, you little think. sister I have. Yeah, sure entertainers, nothing. they seem to be shy, but once they're out there, that would become a very different mm. person, right? Yeah, and Jimmy, all good. I, in fact, I just posted his, uh, you know invitation and it's pretty cool i like that 
I wish I can get the pipe thing thing man also. I'm gonna call Dayan. Uh, Dayan is one of the line producer, and also Maria Tess. So we have a lot of help. Oh, so hopefully good. we can bring the whole Thank community you so much. and to all the business owner out there. And we have a lot of viewers from all over the state, all over the world. All over the world oh, yeah. John Patrick from the Philippines actually. He's watching right now, and he says he's gonna call me in a few. Anyway, uh, they on they are also doing a business back home, like here in the U.S. We have multi-level marketing. You know, we have a lot of viewers. My nephew, my nieces, you know, they're watching right now, and my mom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. My battery died. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so thank you so much. Maybe invite Tess then, bring it over here. Yeah, okay. But anyway, uh, California Highway Patrol Sacramento, Roger and uh, David, thank you for watching. Hi, Roger. Hi, David. Thank you. And that's uh, California Highway Patrol Sacramento uh, home base. So, and also we have Diversity Chamber of Commerce. The project that we would like to uh, do on a Diversity Chamber of Commerce of Nevada is we can help the wow. homelessness. Oh, okay. Like, like so you've got some charity uh, missions as well, so yeah, that's good. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, Filipinos, not just Filipinos, that they don't have a place to stay. Ah, uh, okay. Not the homeless homeless, because oh, okay. I let the government take care of that because it's huge. This one is only simple and it's small. You know what I mean? Mm, oh, that's good. So, that's good. Well, I'm homeless. <laughs> Maybe I can be a part of it. Okay, yeah. Philippines. All right, watch out yeah. because I'm here right now in Las Vegas to entertain you guys. Uh, said, Mike, Judith. Oh, yes. Judith, you should be here. Uh, we're still live right now. And uh, once again, that's going to be Las Vegas Filipino American Festival. It's going to be May 13, 14, 15 and Rancho uh, Craig Park. So join us there. Uh, enjoy. They have a lot of games. They have a lot of uh, uh, stuff that uh, balloons, you know. Um, Oh, that's gonna be fun. Huh? Yes, yes. So am I gonna be there? The band, yes. Am I gonna I'm be gonna there too? Oh, that's Judith good. To, for you to be there. Why not? <laughs> That'll yes, be fun, guys. Yes, uh, Judith is asking. He said, "Hi, good morning, madam. Ha ha ha. Nakita ko yung live ninyo ni Mystic. Oh, oh what's her name? Uh, Judith. Judith. And okay. She's also influencer. She has her own blog on YouTube. Oh. So pretty be as a festival. And yes, we. Wow. She's gonna be. She's a famous. Rock Diva from the Philippines, and she is the split queen <laughs> and the Philippines. Okay, it'll so be my pleasure, guys, to see you there. Yes, you can afford her, just talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is the uh, she's the person. <laughs> yeah, I'm the person you talk to, so don't worry. You, you can afford not, not because you can afford her, she can actually. Uh, Give the Filipino community a uh, happenings, uh, surprise shows. So, yeah, again, yeah, Mystica Directiva. Floor and Eder would be perfect. Okay, I'll bring Floor yeah, with me. and her so on, on that, on that on uh, May 13, 14. Show. Let's just talk. i give you a call as soon as we finish on the show. So once again, Somoderm. If you'd like to know more about what is Somoderm, what is that? For you. Somoderm is a... Uh, homopathic and there is a transition we just have to read oh. it because uh, i get in trouble if i claim something that it transdermal gel for for the face for actually uh you just uh, for the body put it in your hand ah, okay i'm out ah, and okay then you just put it in your and maybe i can try it on too yes you can try oh, it yeah. on you can promote it also oh sure yes yeah. So some of their direction apply two full pumps in the morning and two full pumps in the evening and five days on, two days off for intensive use. Wow. So it will it says here gel should always be applied for the thin areas of the skin. Whenever 
limbs are visible, you may apply the gel to your underarms, forearms, this, and behind the knee. Applied location should be. You know what? This is oh. really, it works to me when I have a knee problem. So when I go out in dancing, oh, you know, okay. like walking, okay. you just apply it. And oh, that's good. Just like away. me sometimes, I would need. Yeah. So because sometimes I just bang myself, you know, especially when I do my splits. And then, of course, you know. <laughs> yeah, you need this. You need this. So I would need again, something some like that. <laughs> and also, GS Partners. Uh, we have a mining machine, cryptocurrency, Ethereum, you know, uh, Bitcoin. So, GS Partners to get involved, call me also. Somaderm. Mm -hmm. so okay, so that's the one, huh? Yes. Somaderm, yes, okay. But anyway, uh, invite the rest of the people, invite your family. Oh, family. yes. Uh, here in Las Vegas, most especially to uh, the F Filipino community, because I'm sure that there's a lot of uh, Filipinos right here. And of course, they're friends also. You know, please invite also your friends. Uh, doesn't matter if they're Filipinos or not. I'm sure they're also going to uh, enjoy on the 13, 14, 15. So that so is the festival, that's the festival. Filipino festival. And of course, on May 21 at Alexis Park Resort Hotel. Okay. So Once again, I'm going to let Mystica to sing her famous song, Back Home. Simple <laughs> lang akong babae, hanap ko ay simple lalaki. Kung di mo gusto aking sinasabi, sorry na lang mo pare. <laughs> Alright, and more to come, so... Buy your ticket now, and once again, thank you so much to all the viewers out there. Once again, this is Ariel Live TV, and thank you to my daughter for helping me today. Once again, Lenya Yasia, and of her course, name hashtag again? the hangout. Her thank name you. again? Yasia. Yasia. Wow, what, Yesia, a, what a great name. And of course, thank you to Jay Silva and Dennis Matthew for providing uh, the location and, of course, the streaming. Once again, if you want to learn and join our livestreamers.com, you can watch yourself, the livestreamers.com, YouTube, wh whichever you want to trigger your shows around the world. You can also trigger this to channel 5, channel 10, wh wh whatever you want to use. So once again, I want to welcome my dear sister. And we're Thank you so much. Together. So <laughs> come join us and we will be sharing her talent all over the world. Once again, this is Arya Live TV. Thank you so much. And of course, to Hank and Dennis. Hi. Later. <laughs>